Howdy YouTubers. All right, well the Kawasaki is 98% done. Um, I still gotta put new tubes in it and new tires, which I have, well not new, but new to me and way better tread and probably a little less rolling resistance compared to the original tires, which are still on it. But, um, and then changing the rear sprocket I know it looks big, but it's only 60 tooth and a 428 chain. I got 11 tooth on the front. This is the Denzel D7500 or basically D7.5 kilowatt, 10 kilowatt max, 96 volt, zero battery. And this is what I want to talk about today was this Yu Yang King. Controller, as you can see on the size of the bike, it's friggin' huge. It is 150 amps, nominal, normal, RMS, whatever they call it, and 400 amp max. And with the gear that I got on there right now, that 60 tooth, I'm very happy running in eco mode. Um, top speed, 62 miles an hour. De decent takeoff power um, everything seems to be working real great I'm gonna do a video a ride video today for you as well really really nice when I turn it off of eco mode definitely get more acceleration definitely get more top speed I topped out at 78 miles an hour but my face wires got really warm and the motor ran kind of hot not you know 100 and 40 degrees ish area and I think that's okay um, I talked with Alex at Denzel and he says 140 is pretty good you don't want to go up to in the 180 range is where you're really uh, jeopardizing burning up the motor but what I really like about this Yu Yang King controller is the Bluetooth app if you get one get it with the Bluetooth app once you find the, um, connect to my Yu Yang King. <clears throat> Once you get the app, the easiest way I found for finding the app was just do a, a Google search and it came up a hell of a lot easier than trying to find it in your apps. They do have the app for both um, non iOS and iOS Apple stuff as well. But it comes with this nifty little speedometer, kilometers per hour, push a button miles per hour um, and then on this display you have um, input voltage current comes up when you drive it temperature uh, distance meter working status normal uh, average speed maximum speed odometer and remaining distance on your battery I don't know why that's not doing anything but what's really cool about this is me sorry i'm a terrible videoist videographer but you got start fast start soft start i got my soft start up to 10 just because of the gearing once again um over speed i don't know what that is yet forward and reverse the direction of the motor it's got manual cruise control which i still need to wire a button for that auto cruise control which does work but i need to wire in I think I'm gonna do my front brake light switch or just add a rear brake light switch and then connect to the brake system of the controller. Then I can get regen and all that stuff. You can set your maximum speed setting, um, reverse speed. I'm not gonna hook up a reverse switch to it, but it does have reverse. Um, EBS, EBS braking system is adjustable, zero to 10. Uh, battery current limit, as you can see, I am at 100 and 100. Um, hall sensor phase angle most all your hub your three phase motors uh, DC motors are 120 degree phase angles eco mode like I said I am in eco mode all the time I just acceleration curve there is kind of a change in how fast it takes off but when that is on it's really twitchy really more jumpy with on off control I have boost mode on right now. It does seem to help my top speed a little bit. Since I turned it on, I haven't been on the freeway. 
Um, but we'll leave it the way it is and see how the next video turns out. Uh, low voltage threshold cutoff. I got it at 75. The BMS will take care of anything above that. I'm not worried about it. Motor lock, which is pretty cool. I turn it on, and it, when the bike is on, it locks the motor so the bike cannot roll. It's pretty neat. And then you restore all your, your factory settings. After you do each adjustment, you do have to hit the save button. Um, I never tried doing multiples and then saving it. I just do one at a time and hit the save button. So, well worth the money if you're building an e-bike on a budget, an electric motorcycle. Um, I did put this controller on the bomber bike and it ran that motor hot. But it would do wheelies, it would do 80 miles an hour, and with 78 miles an hour, uh, I couldn't believe it. It's way too fast for this bike, so I put the little controller back on it. Um, it, it and the motor was really really hot but it was freaking flying at that time i didn't have the bluetooth dongle because they forgot to send it they did send the bluetooth dongle it plugs in the controller and you can do all your settings from there pretty freaking cool but controller was 193 dollars and then 50 48 dollars in shipping or 43 dollars in shipping absolutely amazing controller it has not gotten hot one time yet the motor got hot but the controller did not and that's on 96 volts a 27 amp hour battery um absolutely amazing so majority of everything is done uh the dc dc converter is in there um turn signals work i changed the i'm not running an alternate battery I'm just running a DC DC converter um, to power the the system and the lights and everything. So with the stock um, with the stock flash relay in there, the right side wouldn't blink at all, and the left side was really really slow. So I put in a, an LED LED flasher or six volt. No, I put in a six volt flasher relay. Put in a six volt flasher relay, and it works a heck of a lot better. Very cool. Very good. All right. So that's this video, kind of doing a walkover of the motor controller and stuff. If you've got any questions on any of the components I'm using, go ahead and give me a shout out and ask and I will get back with you. Any questions on the motor setup, and whatever questions you got, give them out. And I'm going to get dressed up and go for a ride for the next video. Thank you all for watching. See you on the flip side.